Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have a big, huge mess. This is why my YouTube channel is called Messy Table Studio. If you could only see the site, well, I'll drag in all the stuff and show you what's on the desk so you understand why my YouTube channel is called this because this is on the sideline, all the stuff I pushed to the sides, so you didn't see it. <laughs> and then, of course, there is the... Um, the box of, you know, more. <laughs> so what I'm up to today is I made this, uh, this is my doodle paper that's photocopied and I put it onto chipboard. I think it might have been the back of some kind of a tablet of some sort, like uh, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, although it does look a little skinnier. Than some. It might be the front part, the front part of the, the uh, books are a little thinner. I don't know. Or the tablets are a little thinner. So anyway, I made this Coptic stitch book and I really liked it. So I kept it and I've been looking at it on the shelf. I think, why do I keep these books and leave them empty thinking I'm going to sell them or use them? <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe I should just break down and use them. So this has um, Tantone Strathmore paper in it. So when I was taking the... Um, I'm in fodder school one and have signed up for two and I also have been doing the I did the five day accordion challenge which you already have seen the video and there's one more oh Alicia Burke's class for journal petite so I've been doing a lot of jelly printing on um, deli paper and yeah, mostly deli paper because I just am so fascinated with how the prints look on the deli paper. Sorry, the light's a little bright there. There you go. Okay. Um, so I decided that I would combine the stuff that I did on book text and white computer paper and start filling in the pages in this. So this is what I've got so far. Um, I did covered the inside of the book because it was just brown you know where you could see the inside and I did the back cover also covered it with jelly prints too because I didn't want to cut a square piece or a rectangular piece and just slap it on there I thought I should do a little combination of stuff plus it uses up all this paper on my desk okay that's probably the big one all right so I just opened it up to any page and started sorry my husband's taking a shower and the dog is is um moaning because he wants to be in the bedroom with him <laughs> so he's laying outside at the foot of the door moaning in agony because he's not in there with his dad all right so um i mean i don't think this goes with the rest of it but we'll see i might just cover that up anyway so i've just been doing random pages and putting <laughs> Sorry, colors on there. He makes me laugh when he acts like he's going to die. So i just been um, gluing stuff on here because, honestly, I have no idea what to do with this. I'm just gluing paper down. So right now I'm in the orange and yellow phase. This was a stencil. I, I don't know whose stencil this is. The swirlies. But I, um, I did... I've had this a long time, and it's a 12 by 12 stencil. And, uh, oh, please, you're not going to die. He's just taking a shower. Oh, I know. It's so sad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to stop the video and open the door and let him in. Otherwise, <laughs> you guys are going to listen to him act like he's dying. Okay, the two have been reunited. <laughs> I hate it when he gets locked in there, but I also hate it when he's on the other side of the door and all he does is whine and moan and carry on. It's so distracting. All right, so I've got this. I think this is too large. So I have one of those deckled edge jobbies. Well, actually, there's three. We are memory. Is this is yeah. Me are we are memory keepers. And there's three rulers, which means you get six different deckled edges. So. I've been using this plus my um, metal rulers to um, not do completely cut off straight lines, but there are some. So I think I'm going to do that this way. Yep. 
and I ordered myself some art glitter glue finally I've been seeing other people use it and I didn't want to rush in and I ordered it and I have to tell you I'm loving this stuff oh my gosh and it dries toot sweet so if you want to move stuff around you need to use something else because this stuff don't move I mean when you stick it it stays Oops, so no change in your mind once it's down you got to live with it because there ain't no going back I filmed that out after a couple pieces of paper I tried to rip off a few seconds after I and pfft, what a disaster okay let's see here's random stuff laying on the desk just throw that on there La 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 la, let me cut this off here so it kind of lines up better there. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, you can see I've already been through the lavender, purple, and green phases. <laughs> I like keeping my colors kind of together. I don't want to put that on there. Although I probably could put a little space, yes. I don't, um, I know other people like to put like black and white on it and that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to using black and white because of doodling. I really am trying to do, look at that on camera. I am really trying to do more color. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Now if I do that, then I get rid of this and I like this. Maybe I could do a small patch. Yep. But let me cut off the straight edge and glue it on. Sorry, I have a pen in my mouth from the lid here. All right. That's good enough. There we go. I love how smooth and lovely the deli paper looks on the looks on the brown paper. Um I did another book and I did do jelly prints in this. There I don't think there's any deli paper prints in this. So I have this filled up, but I still need to do something with it. So this is what inspired this. No, this inspired me to do this. Oh my God. Let me have a sip of coffee. Hello, honey. Mm -mm -mm. There's something else that I've been learning to do kind of, I don't know, people have been telling me to do this for a long time, is I've been using this. I have discovered there's certain colors that I like better, and I heard someone say, I don't know if one of those classes, use what you like. Don't use other stuff because you don't, you know, use what you like. So I said, okay. So I turned it on to the blue violet, and I looked to see what the complementary colors are, and it's a... Uh, red, orange, and yellow, green. So I've been trying to use, oh, here's the split complementary, the yellow and the orange. I've been trying to stay in the range of what this says, and I feel like I'm having better luck with my colors. Black and white's easy. This, not so much. I don't have an innate sensibility of how colors go well together. I know it makes mud. I'm very I, I'm an expert at that. This, not so much. So, I've been trying to do my colors so that I can have something that looks... <laughs> not the word professional. It looks a little more together. How about I like to say that? I mean, I'm good at the black and white stuff, but not this. So, this is my foray into trying to get my colors to look a little better, more cohesive. Oh, I can hear that dog still whining from the other room. My husband's getting ready to go to Sam's, and I'm staying here with the dogs. They'll sleep the whole time he's gone, but before he leaves, the uh, bulldog knows that Dad's leaving, and it makes him upset because he, he doesn't take him with him. So he goes and whines and acts like he's dying, so my husband will feel sorry for him. I'm fresh out of sor sorry. Um, you know, I raised two sons. <laughs> we're, we're done with the fresh out of sorry. I'm fresh out of sorry. Okay. Uh, let's do it this way. 
because I don't want the other stuff. I want this. See, I don't want... And I do throw some of these little pieces away because Lord knows I have enough paper. It's not like I'm, you know... I think I want to put that in the middle. I, it's not... It's not like I don't have any paper, so I can afford to throw away the little corners and stuff. The bigger strips, can't talk with a pen in my mouth, bigger strips I don't get rid of. And if you saw my paper cart and the Ikea cabinets I have, you would know that I am telling the truth. I know other people are trying to pare down stuff. And I am slowly paring down because eventually my husband and I are going to move to a much smaller house because we ain't getting any younger and we don't want to have to do all the upkeep. So yeah, oh, so now the other dog starts. <laughs> Can't win. Okay, the imaginary boogeyman. <laughs> oh, wound up the dogs, so I let them outside. So next thing on you know, I'll have to stop to let them back in again. I swear, that's all I do is jump up, let them in, jump up, let them out. <laughs> that's my day. We live in the country, so, you know, there's a lot of yard for them to cover, a lot of territory for them to guard. I use the word guard very loosely. <laughs> All right, let's put that there. And no, that's more purple-y. I don't want to cover that up. I'm looking at the camera at the same time I'm recording to see how stuff looks on camera. I don't know if I want to use this or not. Let's see. It's a lot of white and yellow, and then there's a swirly, and there's swirly yellow. There's the purple tinge. This is the yellow, and this was the orange section. Uh, let's take a peek through the box. These are purplies. All right, this is more pronounced. Maybe this would be better because this is, yeah, let's try this. It's a little darker. That was the, I think this was the original print and this is the ghost print because it has a lot of white paint on it and this does not. So, what do we want? I think maybe we need some more yellow. <laughs> anyway, so I have been very busy lately trying to use supplies up well, use what I have, and then um, trying to stay on top of all these classes that I bought that I have not been using, although I'm already in, I think, May for fodder school, and I started in February, like last week, two weeks ago, so I am slowly getting through it. Um, I keep seeing what people make on Instagram, and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. And I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not there yet. So, you know, it kind of gives away what's coming because people post on Instagram who are on time, not lagging behind like I am. And um, so I get to preview kind of what's coming. I'm not sure I like that. I'm absolutely sure I don't like that. See, this is why there's so many little pieces of paper on my desk. Oh my gosh. Do I, would I like something lighter? I don't know. Oh, let's see. We have any more orange? Yellow. Oh, there's pinks and purples here. There's a purpley one. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is more yellow and orange and purple. Let's see. No, pink, purple, pink, purple. I don't want pink, purple. No. I don't want to use that because it's somebody else's stuff. All right, so... Let's try this. I don't know. If I'm mixing two types of paper, and this will really... Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is just horrific. All right. Uh... Nope. Uh... Uh, 
to do it this way. If I put that there, then I got I, I want to put something else to balance it out. Oh, just do it. Stop dithering and just glue it on there. You know, and then I'll try to pull it up and be like, why did I put that there? I'm trying on some of them, or most of them, I'm trying to leave a little band of the brown paper so you can see it. I like that look. All right, so maybe it won't be so obvious. Oh yeah, it's really obvious. <laughs> okay, we can just scoot that right on up there. Oh look, fix that problem. And then put another piece here. No. All right, so I could take this and put it up here and then take this and put it there. And it outlines the purple. No, looks too contrived, which it is. Alrighty then, let's see what's on the bottom here. We have any, oh, 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 wait, 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 what's this? Oh, look a hand. All right, yeah, let's try this. No. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness gracious. Well, anyway, so I just, I've been trying to fill the book up and eventually I'll get it full and I will come up with something to do on top of it. There's the blue ones I did with the uh, milk, the milk caps from the lactate milk. These are the ones that I just scribbled the circles on. You know, I showed you guys those papers already or there's a video coming, I can't remember which is which. These are more papers that I worked on after I watched some of the um, fodder school and the um, Five Day Accordion and Alicia Burke's classes. I don't have a lot done in here, but I am working my way through the book. I'm just opening up the page and gluing stuff on it. I'm not thinking about, well, let's keep this color here. I am trying to do a spread though that, that you know, green on both sides sort of thing. This one was a lost cause. <laughs> This one, yeah, kind of, I don't know. These are too blue because this is like more green and this might be a problem for me. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I am trying to fill stuff up to use <laughs> everything on the messy desk. Although, you know, I have never really been, it's not that I object to orange. I just don't use it a lot, but I'm looking at this and I really like the way this looks. Maybe it's just the deli paper look I really like. I don't know. I do have other squiggly things, but they don't go with that. This is made from um, using a glue gun on a piece of cardboard and making squiggle marks with the glue gun, letting it dry, and then the, the original layer was this tealy blue color, and then I stamped the top with purple, or I ran, uh, no, I ran the, um, brayer over it with purple paint and then did it on there and then pulled the print I think is what happened I don't know I made this a while ago anyway so my desk looks like <laughs> paper bomb went off in here but I'm so happy <laughs> gluing stuff on here that I don't really care yeah I try to clean up every day but I don't always make it and it's okay, because if I'm still working on something, I'm not sure I want to clean it up to drag it all back out the next day. If I know I'm going to be doing this for a couple days, then I'm okay with um, leaving it out so that I can... so that I can um, work on it more. Um, I'm sorry, I'm thinking and trying to talk at the same time, and that's like walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time. Some, some days are better than others. Is this part of this? Well, yes, it is. Okay, well. I don't know. That does not make me so, so super happy. Maybe a little bit of purple sneaking out would be okay just a teeny bit no 
this is what I need because this goes with this. Let's see, can I put it on there like that? And then I could put a little more orange or yellow up here and get rid of, you know, that. I told you that would come back to haunt me. A wasn't kidding. Let's tear this off and then I can incorporate this up here. Yeah, there you go. All right. So oop, I was going to pull the pin out of it and I never put it back in. I really like this art glitter glue. It was off. Okay. So I've talked too long, but I just wanted to um, show you what I've been working on that I really do do stuff <laughs> other than let the dogs get out of the house. <laughs> All right, come on. You guys know you have cats that walk in front of the camera. You have dogs that are in there snoring and passing gas while you're trying to do your videos. Y'all know who you are. Some of y'all have grandkids you're watching and they walk in while you're watch uh, while you're recording or the phone will ring. I mean, it's, there's numerous interruptions. And the thing is, is that it doesn't matter if you're telling somebody you're recording. What they want is far more important than what you're doing. I have a sign that's, oh, I have a sign that says recording. And that door still flies open. <laughs> and it's not a dog that does it. Just saying. <coughs> And there they go, scratching at the door. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to come on and show you what I've been doing with the uh, jelly prints that I made from the jelly print session where I did the video on the milk caps and uh, showed you guys all this stuff. I wanted to show you how I was using that paper. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I will have more of this and less dog interruptions. Bye, guys. Okay guys, I am back with the finished product and I even wrote myself a note, needs a flip through video, add on, ta-da! This is the book where I was gluing all of the scraps from a jelly print session and I wanted to show you the inside because it is completed. I know, don't faint. <laughs> I didn't remember I finished it. I guess I finished it and set it on the shelf and then just had brain leakage and forgot. I love doing these. Are these I think this is one of my favorite color combinations in here. I do like this page this set of pages here. Here are the bottle cap jelly prints I did in a previous video. Oh, love, love, love. More, more milk, milk caps. Stamps. And this is the page that I... Oh. I just went back and forth on so many times. Uh, I do like this though, but it took forever for me to decide. It was very wishy-washy. All the pages after this I did off camera because I was like, people don't want to hear me going wishy-washy, wishy-washy. I like this because it's so it's got so much white in it that I can put almost anything on there later, you know, for like an add-on. Is that two pages? Nope. I love this stencil. The swirly stencil. I like this stencil. And there we have it. So it is. it has got all the glue on. Ugh, look at that alligator mouth. Urgh. 
um, it has all the pages glued and now I have to set it aside for another forgotten six months <laughs> and put something on the pages. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if I want to make it myself or if I want to sell it or what I want to do. I'm not really sure, but it is finished with at least the um, pages being covered up. So that I'm very happy that part is completed. So there you go. I actually finished something. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in another video. Bye.